Good afternoon. My name's Wendy Adams and I'm one of the quality improvement coordinators at the DHB. We've looked, our aim is we've moved our aim from our original one to um, we'll reduce the incident of opioid related constipation by 50% from baseline in four wards units by March. And just a bit about about our um, group, we're on two sites, so we've got Nelson as well as Wairau. In Nelson, we've been auditing our orthopaedic, gynae and ENT ward, and also the ATNR ward. In Wairau, we've got a general surgical ward as well as a ATNR ward, which is quite small, it's about 10 beds. We've got two teams uh, that, so the wire hour one, it's myself and a clinical person that does the audit, and in Nelson it's Irene and she has clinical staff also assisting with the audits over there and the change ideas. So, list of interventions. What we've done is we've decided to try a change idea every month, so at the start of a month we look at an idea uh, our first idea was putting a sticker on a computer saying regular opiates, regular laxatives. So that was our first change idea. Um, previously to that, we, had, we actually um, opted to use the mid-central methodology for the, our audit tool and our data collection uh, methods, spreadsheets and that. We did staff education posters and patient education education posters at the same time and during that change we also decided in the wire hour ATNR ward to actually use the Nelson ATNR ward bow chart that they use so getting standardisation across the DHB uh, ward information displays and clinical note steps. So we've been doing lots of work, lots of um, data collection, um, our sample sizes are there, so we are quite busy on a Tuesday doing our audits. Uh, we've got the number of patients prescribed regular opiates and the number of patients prescribed PRN opiates. Uh, this is an example of our poster that we put in the bathrooms. We did a patient um, survey, we got consumer input into the posters um, and that was quite good. So now what did the data is showing, so the percentage of patients who are prescribed regular opiates with bowels open recorded in the clinical notes. So the first, the arrows are the interventions, so the first arrow was picking up and going with the mid-central one. The second intervention line is our opioid stickers on computers. The next one is our post patient posters, and the last one down there is the red stamp that um, we acquired from Hawke's Bay's idea. So it's um, increasing documentation. Change is not sustained, so it's, um, we're still fluctuating with our um, percentage of patients prescribed regular laxatives with regular opioids, so there's no upward trend, it's still all over the place. And key lessons learnt, improvement isn't easy, difficult to sustain and often unplanned and multiple in initiatives happening simu simultaneously in the system. And we, because we've got um, two sites, there's variances with, um, within the different sites. How to prove, improve on perfection, so you see um, we have got a 100% rate of um, bowel function documented in the notes. Uh, I'm just going to go, that's our staff education poster, that was quite fun. Uh, <laughs> we thought, oh, let's put the fun, post, fun picture on the um, staff one. Uh, so, um, struggles, analysing the data graphically, so you've got four different um, spreadsheets going and then we put them into two, so we've got two sites and then we combine it into one for um, our DHB. So common data captured across the sites, poor engagement from clinical staffs and management. So we've got probably, we've focused more on the clinical frontline staff. Um, instead of the higher management um, side. 
uh, the f like the funding, we are um, keeping ourselves busy doing this um, work, and often there are other inpatient initiatives occurring and changing parameters. Um, so looking at um, like the red stamp how often it's used in that. Uh, I'm just trying to think. What the next one. Um, I'll just talk about this red stamp. So we implemented it at the start of um, the last month. That was our last change. And we've decided not to do another change idea this month. We've decided to do a little bit more education around um, putting the date last bowels opened because we found that um, people were stamping it and doing the tick, but the documentation around the date wasn't occurring. So the um, stamp goes on for elective patients in the pre-admission or the day stay area that uh, occurs. Uh, I'm just going to leave you with this because I'm out of time. And this is our um, patient story. And this person actually was involved in the, the development of the posters. Thank you. Thank you. Mm.